Hey, welcome back to Davian Biology. So in this video, I'll be doing revision for Form 5 upcoming midterms. So the chapter that I actually picked is Form 5, Chapter 4, Transport in Plants. Now for this uh, revision video, I'll split it into two parts. So part 1, uh, which is 4.1, Vascular Tissues, and 4.2 will be Transport of Water and Mineral Salts. Now, so in 4.1, Vascular Tissues, right? Vascular Tissues are uh, basically your xylem and your phloem. So these are two tissues are the one that transport substance in plant. So for example, I think you should all know already, right? Xylem is to transport water from roots to leaves. Because and then And then phloem, we will say it's to transport organic substance, which are the sucrose, their food, from the leaves to all parts of plant. Yeah, so don't ever say uh, transport food anymore. La. Food is like for small kids to say. Well, now we form five already, you have to say organic substance, sucrose. So why from leaves, right? Because leaves are the ones that carry photosynthesis to produce the sugar, their food. Ma. Okay, that's why you must say from leaves. Right, so let's look at here. Let's start with xylem first. So xylem, actually, there are two tubes. Xylem first is a tail guan. Right, so the bitiao chu, the thicker one is called xylem vessel. And the thinner one is called tracheids. So that's how easy to differentiate them, thick and thin. But usually you will seldom see diagram give you this kind of diagram. Usually, leh, because this diagram is actually a withdraw one. Like human, we, we draw up the, the diagram like this. So usually you will see diagram looking something like this. Leh, but it's very similar. You can see the thicker one, xylem vessel. Thinner one, tracheid. So of course, inside the plant, they are side by side. Leh, xylem vessel. Track it. Yeah, so track it actually is not just one. You have many small, small tubes. And xylem vessel is one thick tube. So water actually passes through it like that. Alright, so for xylem, right? And for also the same thing. Besides knowing how to label the structure, they always like to ask you this question. Explain adaptation of xylem structure to carry out its function. Means what kind of characteristics a xylem has right, that can help it carry out its function, which is to transport water. So it has more that can help it transport water. So xylem vessel, usually we'll say this, this one, this is the most important one. Xylem vessels, right, they say here, are made up of dead cells at maturity, so that it makes it hollow in the center. Hollow is okay, empty in the center, so that water can pass through. So imagine like a pipe, 水管这样子. Pipe, right? In the center, definitely is empty. Mama. Then only water can pass through. Correct? Now, so however for xylem, right? So when xylem, when they form like time, right? They are actually cells stacking on top of each other like that. But cells, you know, lah, got nucleus and all the stuff inside, ma which will block the water. So therefore, once they finish form the xylem, right, the cell will die. How we see that? Then, at the in the center, right, it will become empty, hollow like that. Lo. Because the cell died already. Ma. So there's nothing inside. So therefore, water can flow through it like that. Lo. Okay? And number two, right, is the arrangement. Let's say cell the pi fa. These cells, right, they're arranged longitudinally N to N, which means each of the cell, right, they are longitudinally stacked on top of each other. So N to N, So that way, right, I will form a continuous tube. So imagine, right, if my cell, right, they are not N to N, they are simply arranged like that. How is the water going to flow? Right? That water is You have to like twist and turn like that. It's impossible for the water to flow properly. That's why you must arrange end-to-end -end one cell on top of each other, then only have continuous tube lane to the guanma uh, to let water flow. Lah. And the third one, actually this one is also very important in plants. Xylem right, is taken by something called lignin. So you can see lignin is like this thing that's in between the xylem. Because remember, just now we say center is empty, right? So without this lignin, right, the thing will be very like unstable. So this lignin, right? Lignin, by the way, is what is actually a uh, plant fiber. So this lignin, right, actually gives strength to the xylem. It strengthens the xylem, provide mechanical support. So it will be more stable. So when water passes through it, right, the water pressure will not like break, like how say cause the xylem to break apart. 
Uh, so therefore, you can see it prevents them from collapsing due to pressure changes when water pass through. Right? That's why we always say right, xylem right, actually got two functions. Right? It's not just to transport water, xylem also provide mechanical support for the plant. Because xylem got lignin, right? Lignin is very hard. It's plant punya fiber. So it doesn't just support the xylem, it also support the stem. It's also of the yeah, that's why xylem can also support plants because it has lignin very hard, very strong. And yes, of course, also it prevents the plant from bending. Lo. Okay, so xylem vessel, you must think, how can you let water pass through it? How can you let water pass through it? Dead cell, hollow, end to end, water can continuously flow. And also you can say, got lignin lo, to support it, strengthen it. Number two, the trachids. So trachids there, its main function, right, is actually to let water flow to the side. Because inside a stem, right, you all got to see the stem structure before, right? It looks something like this. Right? Xylem is in, inside one. Ma. So you can see at the side here, there's also tissues that need water. So check it, let the water flow sideways. Tarang sui liu shui pang bian da. Yeah, so that's the main function of track it. So to let water flow to the side, the walls have a lot of pit, as they say here. So pit, actually here the diagram cannot see, but there's a lot of like lobang, a lot of holes, and so these are called pit, which let water diffuse sideways. So that's the track it, main function, lo. that's the adaptation. And yeah, track it also just like xylem, lah, got lignin, same function, lo. strengthen, provide mechanical support, don't let it collapse. That's it. So if they ever ask you this adaptation, right? Basically, this just explains xylem vessel track it. Now parenchyma cell, this one, uh, we don't really mention it a lot. Lah. So what is it for? It stores food substance. Because remember, these cells here are all dead. So they need some kind of nutrients to help maintain all this dead structure. If not, it will break down, it will rot. Okay, so that is xylem, settle, finish. So of course, must not label these two. Silent vessel, track it. Explain their function. Structure, adaptation. Okay, done. So next, flow. So flow, they will also ask you the same thing. Label the structures and also explain adaptation to carry out its function. So for flow, we have mainly three structures to label. Sieve tube. We don't say sieve tube element, like usually we say sieve tube or we say sieve tube cell. So you can see phloem, right? By the way, I almost forgot to mention, phloem, how to differentiate from xylem, right? Phloem actually look like bamboo, it's like zhu, it's like section by section, So if you look at this diagram here, the human draw punya diagram, you can see exactly like bamboo. And phloem, of course, is on the outside of the stem, lah. so this is more towards the outside of the stem, which you can see in here. Okay, the one I'm drawing green color now, this is actually the phloem. It's closer to the outside. Understand? And you can see this bamboo, right? Beside it, got one cell sticking to it. cell means So this cell that is sticking to it is called companion cell. So companion comes from the company. So this cell is like the friend of the sieve tube. Ah, this companion cell is like companion of the sieve tube. So these are the two main things they will ask you to label. Lo. And number two, and number three, right? Okay, not so oftenly asked one is this sieve plate. So sieve plate is actually something that is in between each of the sieve tube. Sieve plate pinea function is very simple. So sieve plate, right? In between, it got a lot of holes, which uh, there's a few names for this hole. Number one, they will call it a perforation plate, or sometimes they will just say pores. Yeah, you can use either of this one. So the function of it is to let the sucrose, the organic substance, to pass through from one sieve tube to another. Lo. So this one actually nothing much. So question will most likely want you to explain sieve tube and the companion cell. Now let's look at sieve tube. So sieve tube, right, if you think about it, it's actually quite similar to xylem because it also needs to let substance to flow through it. So therefore, right, the middle of it has to be, have to be, Hollow as well. It has to be a hole to make it flow. So the sieve tube, how it becomes hollow, right? Number one, right? It's slightly different than xylem. So just as xylem, we say dead cells. But here the cells are not dead, though. The cells are alive, right? 
right? But these cells, right, okay, we look at this one first, uh, they have no nucleus ribosome vacuums, means it doesn't have a lot of organ. Yeah. So it's alive, but handicapped. Cha -cha, chan fei at the same time. Ah, so imagine you're alive, but you don't have internal organs, no brain, no heart, no lungs. So the center is quite empty oh, in your body. Same as so here, oh, no nucleus ribosome vacuum. And most importantly, the cytoplasm is pushed to the sides upon merger. So imagine all your muscle and bones you push to the side and you don't have organs. So your body will be empty. So same here. See, these are actually the cytoplasm. They push it to the side. Then center is hollow. Lah. Ah, so this is how to achieve consing. This is how it becomes hollow inside the uh, flow worm. So it allows the cross molecule to pass through. Lah. Okay, so here are not dead. Remember, only xylem is dead cell. And number two, right, the arrangement you can see is exactly like xylem. Means you one step on top of another. 一个贴在另一个的上面. So they are arranged end to end, longitudinally. So you form a continuous tube. So that's sieve tube. Then sieve plate, I already told you lah, got pores, got perforation plate to let the substance pass through from one sieve tube to another. Now there are that companion cell. So remember just that we say sieve tube is cha cha one chan fei de. So this sieve tube right got a friend to accompany him. Ta yuke peng yu pei ban ta. So if you cha cha right. Let's say if one day your leg broken, so your best friend right, will probably always buy food for you, treat you very nice, correct? So the companion cell here also does the same thing. Since the, the safety cell is cha -cha, right? No organelles means it cannot produce own food. Nah. So the, my, the companion cell actually has a lot of mitochondria to provide energy for the sieve tube cell. Why the sieve tube cell needs energy? Because it, the energy is just to transport the sucrose from leaves into the sieve tube by active transport. Meaning to say, right, let's say to be Yipian Yi, there's a leaf here. So the leaf is connected to the phloem, of course. So just like we, earlier today, we, earlier in this video, we mentioned already, right, the, the leaves carry out photosynthesis, produce all the sugar, the sucrose. So how this sucrose can be transported into the phloem to transport it all parts of the plant, right, it needs energy to muscle the phloem. Uh, so where the energy come from? From the companion cell. So when it muscle here, since I need energy, so the transport is called active transport. Because com the sieve tube, right, got no organelles, it cannot produce its own energy. So we need friend to help him out. Companion cell. Alright? And that is flow one more. So let's do a few questions here. Okay, we do two questions. Uh. Uh, okay, this page here, page 14. So just like just now I told you, okay, we're doing xylem as you can see here. First question they ask you to name the structure. So xylem is that there are two main structures, right? The thicker one, X, xylem vessel law. And the thinner one, tracky. So labeling, no problem. If right inside they, they, this, they draw all these structures inside here and then they ask you to label this, right? Remember that's the lignin the fiber. And the point of all these tiny holes, what are they? They are basically pins. B. Explain two adaptations of X to their function. So they want you to explain xylem vessel with their adaptation that help carry out the function. No? So remember, no? for water to flow through, it has to be like pipe. Have to be hollow. How it become hollow is because the cell number one, R8 radar, are made up of dead cells. So if it's dead, then hollow lo, to kong sing lo, then water can flow it, can flow past, can flow through it, sorry, can you go ta. And then number two, there's a few things also you can say lo. Number one, you want to talk about it arrange end to end also can. So end to end they only continuous ma. That can you arrange like this ma, how the water flow. Or you also can talk about this lignin no to strengthen it so to provide mechanical support for xylem now for the explanation right for lignin right you either can say to strengthen the xylem or to provide mechanical support for xylem actually just choose one can already right? don't you write both ah you want to say prevent the xylem from collapsing due to water pressure also can but usually we just stick to this one lah. easy support the xylem then See, what will happen to the xylem vessel and track it if lignin is absent? So no lignin, number one, you can say, I cannot provide 
mechanical support. Also can. Or number two, you want to say no xylem, right? Remember, when water passes through, there'll be pressure. So the pressure might like cause the xylem to collapse. So we actually can say that oh, the xylem will collapse. How we down here like being a And then due to water pressure, when it passes through the xylem. So imagine like this, like your pipe, right? If your pipe is made of paper, it'll be very soft. So when water passes through it, zzz, the paper blah, fall down. So now your pipe has to be hard. They only do, they can can resist the water pressure. Mark. So how it, the pipe become hard? It's like you have you must have lignin no? ah, to strengthen it no? so that you won't collapse. So I say here xylem will collapse due to water pressure when it passes through the xylem. So that will be it for our part one video. Lo. So remember, in 4.1 vascular tissue, number one, you must know how to label the structures of xylem and phloem. And number two, you must have you must know also how to explain its adaptation to help carry out its function. Okay, so I will see you guys in part two. Bye-bye.